Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for Tuesday the 20th of October 2020. Okay, that card just fell out so I'm going to go with it. Um, and it is for all signs, so as always it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. Okay, so we have the birth of creation, number six, potential growth. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so angels, what is the message that people need to hear? It's all signs. What do people need to hear the most? For Tuesday, the 20th of October, 2020. Okay, so we have Life Review, Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. And we have that with the growth card. Okay. So I'm going to pull some cards and see what we get. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message that people need to hear the most for Tuesday the 20th of October 2020? Okay, first card is out. We have the Page of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Judgment. <laughs> We've got the sun, isn't that beautiful? The Ten of Wands. And I've got the moon as well. Bottom of the deck, I've got the King of Wands. I'm going to clarify this King of Wands with the black and... This is the Radiant Wise Spirit deck. I'm going to clarify with the black and gold Rider Waite Tarot deck. Okay, so let's clarify this King of Wands. Let's clarify this King of Wands, please. So I've got the Ace of Swords and I have the Five of Pentacles. It feels for some of you, I mean, when we talk about this life review, somebody seems to be taking stock because the Sun is an enlightenment energy it really is and certainly with the the judgment card which is also um a card of an awakening even spiritual awakening i mean there's a lot of spiritual guidance here the sun judgment the moon it's a lovely lovely energy and obviously the ace of swords so for some of you it feels that you're being guided towards a new direction but it definitely feels in this energy the page of swords Page of Swords can be to do with an idea. It feels like someone has an idea that's worth considering. So there's a kind of message here that if you, because, uh, you know, with these two cards, it feels very illuminating. It feels like light bulb moments, suddenly something becoming clear where there hasn't been clarity in the past. There's a powerful energy of something becoming clear here. Um, and it's to do with the mind. The sword's energy is to do with the mind, our thought process, how we perceive situations can also be communication. In this respect, it feels for me, it feels that somebody has some kind of powerful idea, a thought. And the message here is it's divinely guided with the sun, so don't talk yourself out of it. <laughs> um, because if there is some illumination, some epiphany today, it's certainly heaven sent, whatever heaven means to you. The sun is divine energy, pure divine energy. And you see the child and the horse, they walk through that wall. So it's some kind of idea that is helping you overcome an obstacle getting clarity in how you move forward and align to the right path. Um, 
stepping into your power and again the sun energy is new growth it's also very good in terms of everything's going to be okay it's a feel-good energy it's happiness celebration joy and um, things are about to get so much better but I'm definitely feeling some kind of thought illumination now sometimes the the pages can be news messengers that could be to do with this as well some kind of news but I'm not really feeling that I'm seeing this page of swords linked with the ace of swords here so it feels in this energy now it might well be for some of you because I have the ten of wands somebody burdened but working very hard and it feels like to get some kind of project off the ground again the three of wands is an energy of, of partnerships collaboration so it might well be you maybe it can be two or three people maybe more you know it can be a, a card card of teamwork this is a card of getting something off the ground manifesting something teamwork collaboration it's either you might be setting up your own business for example and working extremely hard to get something off the ground taking action towards some kind of idea illumination that has come your way there are people around you who are supporting you guiding you sometimes this can be about help is on hand when you need it so if it's if it's your business it might well be and um, there could be investors there could also be somebody giving you advice you know sound business advice too so it can also mean that kind of partnership as well but it feels in this energy there is some kind of collaboration going on that has been extremely burdensome it has been extremely hard work but it feels in this instance that you are getting something off the ground here the hard work will be worth it because we have the moon energy and the moon is a card of hidden blessings it's a card of aligning with your in trusting your intuition sometimes this can be fear doubt um, and there's a feeling with judgment because you know judgment is a card of, of you know between these two cards it definitely feels like some kind of surrender don't worry just trust the process even though you don't see the big picture the universe does and there's a kind of energy here of it's time for you to step into your light don't let fear or doubt or uncertainty and that's why I'm kind of saying don't talk yourself out of some kind of idea or epiphany today because this is where we can let the fear take hold and stop us from moving forward and it's almost like you're being told to release your fear um, step into your light it's a powerful awakening that's going on with you so beautiful energy because for some of you it's a victory or a victory is coming over and it feels like where you have had financial challenge so the the five of pentacles can be about financial loss so it can be to do with a change in circumstances to do with your money career can be you know maybe um if you're in a current job it might well be that you are you know there may have been changes that are making you feel unsettled and unstable or you know you might be on less money it could be to do with the pandemic um can also be to do with being outcast rejected feeling financial loss so it can be to do with some career loss in some respect but it feels in this respect that there is some kind of victory over this and it is by how you take action now it can also be to do with some news to do with an opportunity because the king of wands can be somebody offering you an opportunity but you know the king of wands he sits in the blue sky you can see that and when you're in your power when you go for something and take action towards something that feels right um, this he is very good at putting plans into action he is very good at um, having a pl having a clarity in terms of where he's going and taking action towards it he's somebody who's very much in his power but it's a go-getting energy of 
of someone being driven, taking action, and they sit in their power and success for that reason. And again, they're surrounded by the blue sky because when you are in your power, the sky really is the limit. So there's a feeling that there is some, I mean, sometimes this can be about breakthroughs, the Ace of Swords, but it feels for me that there is some kind of idea that you're being told to take action towards here because it will bring you some victory, some success and a powerful new beginning. It feels like an opportunity that you need to act on or an idea or an epiphany that you need to take action on now. And that's definitely what I'm getting. Like I said, it could be news for some people, but I'm not, I'm generally, I'm absolutely not feeling that. I'm feeling some kind of epiphany here certainly with these two cards together and it's the combinations that do matter so <laughs> you see <laughs> even at the bottom of this deck i have the page of swords which can be about ideas certainly with the ace of swords so it feels for some of you there is an opportunity it feels to turn your money career around um and again, the Three of Pentacles is the very beginnings of success. And again, the sun coming out, it feels like something is beginning to grow here. And there is a powerful awakening here that's happening in your circumstances for that reason. Let's pull one more card. Any other message, please, angels, spirits, guides? Any other message, please, angels, spirits, guides? This idea will bring a victory over financial difficulty or circumstances so it's a powerful epiphany and it's given to you by god the universe the divine which is what i was feeling at the beginning yeah <laughs> so i have this two of wands the world is in your hands it's time to take the risk it feels like you're at that that kind of threshold you know that gateway and it is about going for something now this person this is an empowering energy the ones energy is action energy uh, the ones are all about potential power uh, fulfilling your power they're they're electric they're exciting they promise growth as you can see by the sprouting on the ones so this is somebody who is choosing what they want to go for now and taking action towards it venture into the unknown definitely feels in this energy making clear life choices decisions and there's a message of the world is in your hands shape it as you will it feels like some of you are at this threshold you have some kind of epiphany and you're being told to go for it now so act again act on this epiphany lovely lovely energy and again, this is, I mean, the two of ones can be associated with life reviews. But what we're being told is this is the birth of creation and potential growth. And that's why I'm feeling for some of you, it's a very exciting time. And the five of pentacles, remember, this can be about feeling lack as well. So don't let the lack, the fear, the doubt, the uncertainty hold you back. I definitely feel karma is on your side to go for something um, if it feels right. And there's some kind of collaborative project here. Okay, so final message, please. I'm going to pull a... In fact, let me just grab... I'll grab these instead. Okay. Final message, please, for this reading. Very exciting. <laughs> Remember, the judgment is the call to action. So you're being called to act. And again, that's reinforced by the Two of Wands, the King of Wands. Yeah, it's interesting. That's what I'm getting as well. King of Wands. Um, he is take the lead, but he's also a grand vision. <laughs> definitely feeling that energy okay final message please angels thank you yeah we have the fox shadow work 
There are no shadows without light. And it feels like you're being illuminated in the shadow. You know, the sun and the moon. And we have the hair. Strength. Take time to make clear decisions. Bring awareness and light to your situation. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.